Hey you guys, and sorry for how I look. <laughs> um, I filmed this video on, I think it was Vlogmas day nine, and I'm just now getting to editing it. And uh, I just, after I was editing it, I noticed that somebody who doesn't understand um, an eating disorder or how an eating disorder works, they might not understand my thought process behind some of my comments. So this is just kind of like a disclaimer. Um, number one, I have had an eating disorder for most of my life and um, I've only been in the recovery process for about two years. And when I was in, when I was like deep in my anorexia, my behaviors all sought to make me take up as little space as possible. Number two, I do not mean to be offensive at all to anybody, whether you are struggling from an eating disorder or not. Um, I understand that not everybody comes from the same place when they have an eating disorder, nor do they have the same thought process. And my logical mind is engaging now, whereas my emotional mind was engaging during the video. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's a really hard, topic. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them below. Watch until the end because I did end up pat myself on the back, actually pat my husband on the back, actually give my husband the biggest hug ever because he came through for me and he picked an outfit out for me and I did end up going to the Christmas party after all. So stay tuned till the end to the, so that you can see what Anthony bought me and how he helped flip this from a negative to a positive. All of the information about eating disorder hotlines and suicide hotlines and things like that are all going to be linked down below in the comment, not the comment, comment section, I'm sorry, but in the description. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. I can't even speak. So yeah, enjoy the video and I will see you guys in my next vlogmas. about to go do something that I am absolutely dreading. Um, welcome back to Vlogmas. It is, I swear, I never know the day of the month. It's Vlogmas day, whatever, fill in the blank. Um, I have to go clothing shopping, which I don't do often and I don't enjoy ever because I used to enjoy clothing shopping when I could go to the junior's department and basically wear anything and everything. But, yeah, I don't even know what size I am. You guys, it has been so long since I've tried on clothes or since I've had to buy clothes. So nervous because it's a holiday party. So I wanna look, you know, I've been wearing nothing but hoodies and Victoria's Secret leggings for months. And now I have to like, I don't know, Anthony thinks I should do like a cute sweater and a pair of jeans. I was thinking like Spanx and a dress. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I don't know. I'm really nervous. I'm really frustrated. So I think I'm gonna go to Target first and then maybe Kohl's. I just feel like bringing you guys along with me today. It's gonna be a hard day. It's always a hard day when I have to try on clothes. And I'm probably gonna have an emotional breakdown. And I forgot to grab my Xanax. Seriously, the mall is completely packed. I already feel like I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. I don't do well with going shopping. I don't do well with going in stores by myself. I don't, I mean, I'm not like crowd sensitive. I don't have an issue. Like I don't have like social anxiety. But I already feel so anxious from having to go get, um, well, having to go try on clothes. I don't even know if I'm going to buy anything. I'm just incredibly nervous. So, yeah, this is insane. And I'm not sure how I feel about my eyeliner. I don't have any eyeshadow on, but I got a new silver eyeliner today. I got a package, um, my package from Unique. And I don't, I don't know. I had black eyeliner on. I was like, why not? I think it's cute. I like it. I think I like it. I'm not sure. Okay, well. I'm gonna go to try to find an outfit. Um. <laughs> well, that was a complete and utter fail. My hair looks crazy from trying on clothes. I think I got to the um, second outfit. Well, 
First of all, I don't understand what's going on with today's fashion. When things were too small for my chest, they were too big for my stomach. If they were too big for my stomach, they were too small for my chest. Everything I put on felt like I looked like a pillow stuffed with feathers. And I'm just stressing out, freaking out. I had like an entire cart full of clothes. I had cardigans and sweaters and dusters and all kinds of stuff. I don't, I don't even know how to like begin to process what I need to do. I don't, I don't know how to lose like 20 pounds. And it makes me mad that I feel like I need to lose 20 pounds to be able to go to a Christmas party. I hate body dysmorphia. I hate it. All I want to say to myself is how did I let myself go? How did I let myself go? But did I really let myself go? Or did I just let myself get healthy? I just... It's so hard because I've never not shopped extra small or zeros or double zeros. And I'm not trying to insult anybody who's larger sizes than that, but like... 36 years and I've never <laughs> oh my gosh I just I feel like I'm gonna have an anxiety attack I should probably wait for Anthony to come and meet me I had to sit down on the bench and breathe because I felt like the dressing room was closing in on me and the whole time there's this girl who's trying on clothes in the stall next to me and it's like oh do they have an extra small the small's too big and I'm like oh. although I didn't understand because some of the shirts that I was trying on the smalls were too big I just have always gone in and grabbed the smallest size. This is so challenging. This is, I'm determined. I can't let myself get into this situation where I don't go somewhere because I can't find clothes that I feel comfortable in. I mean, I guess family is more important than how I look. So if I show up in a sweatshirt and leggings, like you're welcome, you're lucky I'm there. I don't know. I just, I really seriously just want to cry because I just want to feel cute and I don't know how to feel cute and be in this body. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. Um, I don't even know where to go to begin to find clothes. I literally just need to make a dress out of a sack and be like, there. There I am. That's what I look like, a potato. Okay, I have to go because I really hope I'm not offending anybody. But I'm going through something right now. Um, hmm. I'm absolutely done. I just went to Kohl's. I mean, I know that's only in two stores. This is a major setback for me. I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand women's sizes. I don't, I don't like that we call things small, medium, and large. I think I've taken it for granted that I've always been an extra small and a double zero. And like I have to squeeze myself into a size four, which I should probably be happy that I can fit in that size. But I'm not because my eating disorder screws up my mind. I think that this is a big indicator that while I am physically recovered, mentally, I am not recovered. I was refusing to pick up anything larger than a small and if it didn't fit, I just, I was so disgusted by myself and so outraged. And what sucks is, I know that the people that I'm supposed to go see at this Christmas party are not going to be sitting there being like, oh, you know, look what size she is, and oh, I bet she had to get a medium, and what sucks is that's, that's all I can focus on. That's all I can, I, I am, I'm putting a size, I'm putting a weight more, I'm just putting it above, like, family and holidays and get-togethers, and at this point, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this how I'm supposed to go to this Christmas party with people that I haven't seen. The last time they saw me, I was 20 pounds lighter. I really hate that I am contemplating letting this deter me from going to a holiday party. I'm really upset. This is the most petty thing. Actually, it's not the most petty thing. This is a mental illness. This is... <sighs> I don't... I don't know how to process this. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go into Ulta. I have to go get a new eyebrow pencil anyhow. I hate being physically recovered because I don't look sick, but my mind is just as sick, if not worse. Anyways, I gotta go. I um, I guess I'm gonna try Meyer and see what I can do from there. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Mm -hmm. Kestrel is going to be not happy with the fact that I'm going to let my size and my feelings dictate whether or not I go to this Christmas party. Okay, I'm at Ulta, so I'm going to go. And I'm going to run that girl over. She looks so confident and happy. Good for you. Flaunt your self-confidence for all of us. Wow. Trying on clothes turns me into a bitch. Well, that trip was at least successful. At least I don't have to try on my Ulta purchase, which all I got was, I got another um, ColourPop, it's in the shade Blonde, um, brow pencil. And I also got sham or conditioner. This is the Beauty and Planet. And then you guys have seen in the last couple of vlogs, I've been looking for the oil and they don't carry the oil anymore. I don't know if it's even made, but it's smooth and serene leave-in smoothing cream. So I'm going to give that a try and hopefully this does not let me down like these clothes are letting me down. Anthony is supposed to come and shop with me at this last place so that I'm not by myself, but literally I think that I'm ready to give up. I apologize for how negative this vlog has become. I really, I knew it was gonna be a struggle, but I didn't know it was gonna be just an outright disaster. Um, and again, I hope I'm not offending anybody. <sighs> it's just, it's not easy. It's not easy. And of course, I parked on the grocery side. So I am very angry at food right now and I have to walk past it all. This is why I swear, just because somebody may look or not look recovered, like don't assume that they're okay because they're probably not. Um, yeah. I'm finishing the vlog here. We ended up going to Meyer and they had absolutely nothing. Um, I actually stormed out of the restaurant, or restaurant. We're in a restaurant where Anthony took me out to dinner because I'm having a nervous breakdown. Um, we're at Chili's, but I ended up storming out of Meyer and uh, yeah, it took off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> I was really upset, but I got a fun margarita. It has a flashing bulb in it. It's called the Red Nose Rita, except, I don't know. <gasps> it's so cute, is it real? Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Is there like an on off switch? All right, well, I'm ending the vlog here. It was a crappy vlog, literally probably worthless, but maybe it's important for you guys to see how insane it is to go shopping when you are recovering from eating disorder. Um, eating disorders, I can't even speak. But clearly, when my body is recovered, my mind is not. So don't judge a book by its cover and don't assume that somebody's unhealthy or healthy just by their appearance. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas. So bye!